there are many people who are seeing the two manifestos today between yours and Jagan's. And whereas one is emphasizing on welfare, you are linking welfare and development. Could you tell me a little bit? It seems like you, this is an idea which is not new, which you've had for a very long time. No, what I'm saying, two aspects here. Earlier, welfare was a slogan. Garibu, Garibu Atang. You go through that. Houses. 1970s, you're talking. Prior 1991, welfare was only a slogan, limited resources. Correct. From 1991, after economic reforms, wealth has been created. Governments are having more and more flexibility. Even my father-in-law, founder of Telugu Desam Party, NTR, who had 50 crore project, is a big project at the time. Today, 50,000 crores, 1 lakh crores projects. That is the order of the day. How it happened? Through our economic reforms. That is where I am very passionate and also I am very happy to associate PPP model, mm. public-private partnership to create wealth. So many models in that, BOT, BOT, all these things, viability gap funding, all these things. All infrastructure projects have come in that route. Now people are creating wealth, government is getting revenue. Now this is where I am saying another policy, P4. People, pub, public, private, people's partnership. Make people as partners. Think people as capital. Invest in them. More productive, involve more in knowledge economy, and then even human resources we can export globally. Then they can do wonders, either virtual or physical presence. All these things are going to happen. These are all very forward-looking things. But we are seeing increasingly in all the phases of elections and in the manifestos, it's again back to freebies, whether it was state elections and here it's state as well as uh, Lok Sabha elections which are happening. So there's free bus travel, free uh, educational or very low educational uh, interest educational loans, unemployment um, uh, allowances, financial assistance to farmers, uh, loans written off of farmers again and again. For States which are going to bankruptcy, which includes, uh, you know, in distress uh, states also, how will these poll promises uh, work? What I'm saying is doing same thing. Mr. Jagan is doing same thing. I am saying we have to give fish. We have to teach them how to fish, fish by giving adequate skills and infrastructure. That is our law. Uh, exercise. There is a lot of difference. Today, if you can go through, nothing is static. Every momentum is a change. People are having new aspirations, new ambitions, new desires. All these things people are having. He is saying, I have done all these things five years. Today, I will continue the same thing. Now is aware there is no revenue. Yeah. He closed all revenue channels now. He blocked all or collapsed all revenue channels. Now he borrowed money left and right. There is no scope for further borrowing also. That is the stage today. That's why he confessed before election that I cannot do anything. I gave a hope now. Yes. Welfare will be continued. I will give better welfare than him. That welfare also I will use more productive way. I will empower you continuously. That is where I am asking people to understand. He is giving 10 rupees. He is collecting, he is looting 100 rupees. I will give 20 rupees. I will handhold you. How to make this money lax. Click here to watch the full episode.